This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forged Irish Stout, FreeBets.com. Delighted to be joined with Florian Marku. The fight is edging ever, edging ever closer. Chris Congo is the man. March 31st, you've just concluded the press conference. Um, how are you feeling though, two days away from, from a massive fight for yourself? I'm feeling great. I'm really happy that this fight is happening. It's a fight that the people wanted. And yeah, I can't wait. I don't know if the people understand what I say to them, but we didn't know that we are fighting for a title, for a belt. When I came yesterday, they told me that you should wait yourself tomorrow morning, otherwise the fight, the fight is not going to happen. We didn't know, either me or my team. But it was okay. We make the way today. We're going to make the wait again tomorrow. And Sunday, we're going to make the work. I was going to say, is that always something yourself? You're always a professional, no matter what obstacles they, they, they throw at you, you're going to come through them anyway. Exactly, exactly. You know, they plan and God plans, but God is the best of planners. When, on that press conference there, um, Congo didn't really say much, um, wasn't really interested in talking. Um, what, did, what did you make of that for yourself? I make that, uh, you know, it's different when you are far from the fight, the days are far, you have a lot of confidence, you start talking. But when the fight starts getting closer and closer, your heart, their heart, starts shaking and uh, imagine now tomorrow is the way in and the Sunday is the fight you're gonna see him different person when he will be in front of me because me I am how I talk I feel and I say he is not like this he pretend to be someone that he is not do you think he's bit of more than he can chew 100% he have underestimated me he wanted this fight he talked bad about me he wanted to he say I'm easy fight I'm not a boxer he gonna knock me out I'm gonna uh, land or something, and let's see Sunday. With this fight, it's a fight that's, that you said it's been called for a while. I think three or four years ago, we were both calling each other's names. Um, to finally have this fight now, I suppose it's let it build, it must be a good feeling that I suppose you, you finally got something you've wanted in a sense. It's not some, someone that I wanted. I wanted some good names, like it was Josh uh, Taylor, or you know the other names. I don't, I don't have to. We was close to make this fight happen, and then they offered me this fight. I say, yes, they wanted this fight, Sky Sports wanted this fight, and after the pushing and after all that, people also wanted, and I say, okay, we're fighting him. And with, with your fans and, and I suppose the arena, the pressure that comes with fight night, it's something that you're used to, you know, you're used to the bright lights. You talked about Chris's heart sort of in, in, when it fight weeks, it sort of fades, do you feel like it could be all too much for him when, it, when he sees sort of the amount of support that you got and the pressure that comes with that? I don't think it's the pressure, I don't think it's the support that uh, make him uh, feel uh, like this. I think it's the fight. I think he knows who he have in front of him. I think he knows that me, I am who I talk that I am. He is not. And that is the, the thing with me in Sunday. When he's going to see me in the ring, how much I want it, he's going to change completely. I spoke to Chris a couple of weeks ago and in the interview he said, you know, I'm going to make him quit. He's a quitter. Um, why did he say things like that and what, what do you think that came from? He want to say things for him to believe. He want to say things for him to believe, but whoever knows me, whoever have never have, have ever met me, the one thing that I am not in life and in a boxing ring is a quitter. Just a final one from myself. How does it end against Chris Congo on Sunday night and in front of all the support and the Albanian fans are going to have? Yes. With the help of God, I'm going to put a beautiful performance and I will make a beautiful statement out there for everyone to not underestimate me. Absolutely. Florian, thank you for taking time to be here. Appreciate it and all the best on Sunday, mate. Top man. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thanks for that.